Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is video part two, uh, creating uh, workflows using the application console. Um, the first video that I made, it talks about the basics and how you can start using it. And as you can see on this video that I made, uh, I just did it, but there was no point of the actual if what's helpful but it gives you an idea of what you can do now in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make your own activities for example when you open your workflow if you see in your toolbar on the left there's a lot of controls uh, loops uh, console right line and a bunch of stuff but none of this is helpful for your custom application and as you can see on my toolbar now I have a new control this one is called login now this 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 video it's gonna show you how you can make your own uh, activities or controls depending on what you call it so as you can see here I have a sequence and I have a control the one that I just made login and a basic uh, right to the console and it's returning the results from the login so how can you make this happen for you what you need to do is you right click and you add a new item and you go to workflow and on this tutorial I'm gonna talk about the code activity so basically I'm gonna say I already made mine so I'm gonna say send email click add and as you can see here's the template it's almost ready but I'm gonna go back to the one that I made for login and as you can see the same thing but a few more lines of code so as you can see here the first thing you need to do is uh, since this is a login checking if the login is good uh, as you can see Visual Studio is telling you that you need to uh, what kind of uh, result or object you're gonna return in this case I'm returning a boolean so this is where you say what your activity is gonna be returning and here I got in arguments you need this too so you can see it on your act on your uh, workflow and these arguments are in arguments so that means you're gonna pass uh, username and password so in this video we'll just keep it that way there's some other arguments like out instead of in it's out but I'm gonna keep it simple and in here this is how you pull uh, the username and password so here just to keep it simple I'll just check if u equals cafe sp and p for password is one two three if it is we're gonna return true if not we we'll just say false obviously in here you would check your database you know in a real application but that's how you do it once you build this code or write this code you need to build it to make sure that when you go to your uh, workflow uh, in your toolbar it's already set so you can see we already have a send email just by doing that just by adding this class obviously it's not ready but this is how it works once you got it then just drop it in here and now we're gonna go through the properties we have on this uh, little control the display name you can change it to whatever you want now the result and username and password these are really uh, simple all you do is you pass whatever We'll just add a zero there and then a password and the result it's a boolean type when you click here it's telling you that you need you have a boolean so you need to pass um, an argument here basically the login is going to return a boolean now we're going to use uh, argument as you can see here and I'm calling this one login results and the direction is out because we're gonna 
get it from the property from the control login and the argument type is boolean so that's how you use it here once you have this argument then you can use it here so here the next thing we want to know if what well, if it's true or false all you do is in this case just drop down this right line and just type in login results that to string and then we can see if it actually works now the f before you can run this you need to go to your program file and invoke the activity the workflow because if you don't have this nothing's gonna happen so what you do is really simple just workflow invoker that invoke and you pass the new activity one which is this one and it starts running right away so we're gonna run it uh, in this example we're gonna do control F5 so we can actually see what happens so as you can see it returned false because of the username is wrong so you see here is cafe SP but in the activity we pass cafe SP is zero so now if we fix it and rerun it again it's gonna say it's still false okay it's messed up somewhere okay so if we now if we try to fix the password to the right to match with our login it should say true so control f5 and as you can see we can even see what the user and password was so it's true so it's very simple so if you want to use your own um, uh, activities all you do is add new uh, workflow activity code activity I'm gonna do send mail at and here all you do is in this case you want to say to email address and then just copy it and make another one and say uh, subject whoops something like that um basically this is why you you would do the same thing with the next one like that and obviously here you can have another function uh to do the actual email send mail and here you could pass it send mail obviously you would pass you will need it to pass because you have the the to email the subject and here you could do to do build smtp client something like that so when you go back to your this build actually we need to do something we need to say we'll just keep it again simple and say if it's good if the email went out or not so here we're just gonna return true just to keep it real quick so we're back here which we have the send email drop it in here and here we can say the subject the email to address obviously can, you can add a, a collection instead of doing this because right now this is not a collection so you want to send multiple emails or oh, same same email but to multiple people so hopefully this gives you an idea how you can make your own custom activities for your workflows if you have any questions let me know and I'll post this code as a sample thank you for watching